Hi guys, Ajax Union Berlin, Europa League. 0-0, oh, zero, zero, bro. Um, are you happy with this? Are you content? Are you okay with it? You know, we still have a game in hand next week in Berlin. But um, we didn't concede the goal, so we have a clean sheet. But we didn't really create a lot of chances either. So what's your, what's your feeling right now? We actually conceded the goal, but the far luckily intervened, uh, Juan. Mm -hmm. So we got uh, got lucky there because I couldn't really see the handball. So um, yeah, for me that was a lucky situation that we uh, that it got cancelled. So um, yeah, it was it was a bad game to to be honest, especially the first half. Um, um, not many chances for for Ajax and not really fun to watch as a whole. Also, uh, just the match uh, itself, you know. Uh, but uh, yeah, in the end, I'm content with the zero zero. Um, second half was a bit better by by Ajax. I think uh, I think I switched it up again uh, at halftime. But that first half, uh, besides that first chance in the in the, the, the after that three minutes, or I believe that uh, Tadic fumbled it, that was a big chance. But furthermore, we didn't create much, and you could see that the the height of the opponent, you know, of the players, um, yeah. That that gave us some difficulties, especially with um, set pieces, you know, with with free kicks and with crosses and corners. So this is a difficulty for this team, for this Ajax, and this is why I think it was smart of uh, Haiti had to play Bessie uh, as a central defender uh, today, because I think he was our best match on the pitch uh, together with Kudus. I think he uh, he played terrifically uh, uh, today, and we you know. We also say it when he doesn't play well, and today he stood out for me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, look, you already mentioned it. Let's start, you know, with the starting lineup. So a couple of changes there. You said it already, Bassi at the back, um, and then Alvarez went to the middle. So what was interesting also to see, maybe it wasn't clear from the lineup, but what we saw in the first half and even got more in the second half is Taylor's role. So. Maybe you want to highlight more like what Taylor did in the first half and second half. If you think like what Haitinga intended for him worked out as a plan. Yeah, for me, I, I think Taylor wasn't the best uh, player on the pitch today. And I think he tried hard, but he was unlucky, um, yeah, a few times today during the game. And I think Haitinga for him wanted him to fill in the role like a Grafenberg uh, last season, you know, like more of a box-to-box -box midfielder. But you could see today that sometimes his uh, lack of uh, physical attributes, you know, um, stood in the way a little bit of uh, playing the game he wanted to play. Because those uh, midfields of Union Berlin with uh, Kadira and I believe Lydari and uh, Torsby, those were a lot of physical um, guys at the midfield, you know. And you could see Taylor was a little bit less physical compared to those. So the battles were hard for him. But I think... Overall, he had his moments, good ones, but also bad ones. So, yeah, uh, wasn't his best game. Um, yeah, was his best game, if I'm yeah. being honest. Do you, feel, do you feel like, because actually Taylor is giving a very important role, right? Also in the first half to help with the build-up, like you said, like uh, Grafenberg used to do uh, under Ten Hag as well, like uh, go in the left um, back, you know, like zone and try to build up and help with the build-up. Um, he tried that a couple of times today, but Taylor couldn't really find a solution. Uh, we saw a lot of, uh, you know, balls going sideways or going back, et cetera, et cetera. Should we be critical on Taylor because of this? Were there options for him to, to maybe pass forward? Or are you also maybe concerned about maybe the lack of options up front? Because that's something Heidegger also mentions a couple of times. It also depends how many options somebody has to pass. So how do you see that? I think I think it's uh, it works uh, both ways. One, uh, it's uh, partly uh, the lack of options to play uh, forward. Um, so and he has to be also less passive, you know, um, more more action towards the opponent's goal and try to play those flare passes, you know, uh, and try to make those important uh, openings forward. And if you compare, for example, the play of Kudus and the play of Taylor, and I know they are in different positions in the field, but the um, Kudus was more than a handful for the midfielders of uh, of Union Berlin today. You yeah. saw that they had to foul him many times. Kadira had to foul him many times, uh, and also um, the other guy, Laidari. They had to foul him many, many times, and he was so strong and difficult to get off the ball. 
And that compared to, for example, Taylor, and I know Taylor is much younger and his physique is different than Kudus's, but it's, it's, um, it's a point of concern because especially at the position that Taylor is playing, a, a little bit more physique is necessary because you are that box-to-box -box midfielder. So you have to have that engine, but you also have to have the physical attributes to cope with stronger midfielders. And if you compare, for example, the way Kudus did that compared to Taylor, it's a world of difference. So yeah. we should not be too harsh on him because it's a youth product and it's his first breakthrough season, actually, you know, we can call it like that. But um, in these games, in the important games, growth is necessary and he's not on that level yet. Yeah, absolutely. And how much how much do you think also it has to do with maybe our, our wing backs? Because in recent weeks, we haven't really talked a lot about the wing backs, and I feel like I haven't asked this, this question to you guys because Hatika just took over and we want to see what he wants to do with the wing backs. But what you're seeing right now is he doesn't really want Ranch and Wangal um, involved a lot in the buildup, uh, which is why he's trying something else. He's trying Taylor, or he went in the second half even with three men at the back, and he tried Timber in the right area and Taylor in the left area. So Hedrick is trying to find a way to solve this because maybe he thinks, you know, Wendell and Wrench are not that type of players for me that can help with the buildup like we had, you know, previously last season uh, with Blint and, you know, um, also, yeah. yeah, all those players. Yeah, exactly. So is that a concern for us? Uh, maybe in the air division, not so much, but maybe in Europe, is this something we have to look at in the long term, maybe after this season? I think, well? it's a, it's, I think it's a puzzle that Johnny tries to solve. And yeah. I think this is also necessary and it takes time. So a 0 0 result today gives us more time and also him more time to gel this team together because he's just been here for two weeks now, I believe, maybe max. Yeah, so right. um, we should not. Um, you should not be too critical yet. And I think it's also important. Um, he, he maybe tries to not involve those backs too much because they also need to do their defensive load. And the backs this season uh, at our team haven't been playing that well yet. Mm -hmm. So these new backs with Weindahl and Rensch, uh, they also need to have time to gel in and do their defensive load. So maybe he's trying to um, put other players in the positions to, to distribute the ball forward and let them focus mainly on their defensive part uh, today. But I believe in, in, in the first half, um, that the first chance, you know, with Tadis that, that fumbled it, wasn't it, uh, wasn't it Weindahl who gave that, uh, that, that pass towards him, I believe? Ooh, could be, could be. I, so I, they, they are, I think it was Weindahl. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, almost. Um, so he is getting to that uh, back line of the opponent, you know, sometimes, and also with Drench. But... They have to grow in that role and also learn to click with, with the wingers because yeah. all new positions compared to last season and you have to play matches and get to know each other to, to be a great tandem. And yeah. I think this is uh, the main problem at the moment and it takes time. But also yeah. we have to highlight also the good things that they did because yes, they weren't great today, the backs. But for example, in the first half with, with Ranch, uh, I don't know if you remember that chance that Union Belief got um, from the from the right side. They passed, they passed, and then with the first shot, Wrench was there for a critical block, mm -hmm. very close to Ruli. Then yeah. the ball uh, got got bounced back to the like 16 yard uh, um, area, and then the other player they, he shot next to the goal. You know, with with Taylor sliding in, so Wrench was actually there to do his defensive load. If he wasn't there to intervene, it would have been a goal. Because yeah. it was so close to the keeper. So not only should we only focus on what they didn't do, like building up, but he, Ranch, had some good uh, moments also today. Also a few bad ones, but definitely a few good ones also. All right. Uh, look, that's your opinion, of course. Uh, let's see what the people think of, uh, of your analysis. Um, I want to really honestly, I just want to finish off this, this session and just ask you one question. I know you were tweeting and even telling us like we shouldn't, I mean, you were not scared. I wouldn't say scared, but you were very respectful to the opponent uh, coming into this game and thinking like this is a tough opponent for us. Um, if you if you have to take positives away from this game in general and also maybe highlight also what Heidegger has been able to do in those few weeks, you know, maybe create more stability. I don't know how you see it, but can you just like put it together and just tell us in general what key takeaways, positive ones, 
are you thinking for next week and how we should view it going next week uh, in Berlin? Um, the, the key positive today is that we got a clean sheet and that we had a coach that was able to turn things around again at halftime because you saw that the, you know, the intensity in the second half um, increased uh, with Ajax and they started to play better. And also the dominance shifted a bit from Union Berlin towards Ajax. So um, I think that second half was much better than that first, but we were fragile at times also with um, the set pieces. And this is something that we should be worried about next time that we play them in their own stadium because we lack the, um, the height in the back. Only Alvarez and Bessie are of a certain standard that they could win those duels, you know, but they have the surplus of height with other players uh, in their team at Union Berlin. So we have to be more careful not to give away easy fouls and easy, easy free kicks around our 16-yard box, around our area, because this happened a few times today. And I think Johnny should instruct the players to be more hesitant and, and cover the player better and not make easy fouls, because this way we also got eliminated against Benfica last season. They weren't there the whole match. One easy foul at, at the side, and we know what happened. So... Uh, the key takeaways for me is the manager being able to analyze and, and switch things up at halftime. We didn't concede, at least we didn't concede a valid goal, but you saw with that goal how fragile we can be with those crosses, you know, with those high balls. Yeah. And I think Ruli today was also uh, great again uh, with a few saves, but he needs to grow also with not punching the ball while he's also able to like catch it because sometimes he's punching it because it's a straight mark, you know, punch away the ball. But sometimes he doesn't get challenged. He can easily catch the ball. And then you bring a little bit more balance and, and um, um, yeah, offload some stress with other defenders that have to take care of those balls, you know, those loose balls. So um, all with all, a Juan 0, zero is a proper result considering how the match went. But it will be difficult, um, I think, at their stadium. So no easy game um, with, with the return, I think.